M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just a bit more info here on the ICOM 705 with the new firmware version 1.32. So we're in terminal mode now and you can see there's a little cloud there and we've selected at the top here Cardiff GB7CD and see it here you've got a little monitor. If you push it you can turn on and off. If you've got Wi-Fi connection with that repeater which does have an IP address the monitor will go white, see, it's, got, it's gone white now. So we can now in interact with that repeater without using a hotspot. We're using terminal mode and we're using our Wi-Fi, which is connected. And to just turn your Wi-Fi on, just go menu, set, go to Wi-Fi, like so. Connection type will be station, wireless LAN, just tap it, it's on. Connection setting station. I'm trying to think if there's any other settings there. Let's just click here. Yeah, that's all I've got. So anyway, so that's terminal mode. To come out of terminal mode, and also to turn the monitor on and off, you can just tap monitor here. So it's the new selection, repeater monitor. It's basically, an, it's, it's listening to an internet connection of that repeater. And this is terminal mode. You just heard someone come through there, so it's definitely working. Now, I, I haven't been able to TX, but I've got a feeling it could be monitor only. That's why it's called Moni. But it's, it's also possible that you have to open your ports on your router. But I've got a feeling this is a monitor function. Anyway, so if we come out of terminal mode, go menu, TV gateway, and we'll go to normal mode. Okay, now we're in DR mode. How do you get in DR mode? You just hold down DR, like so. You're in DR mode. So now, what we're going to do, we're going to just show you what happens if I connect to my hotspot. So we'll... We'll come away from that's the repeater there. We'll tap it, TX history, DV, and we'll go to my hotspot. Okay, that's just my hotspot. So it's not a repeater, it's just downstairs I've got a hotspot which is connected to the internet. And at the top here, if we want to contact GB7 CD, let's, uh, let's leave that. So what we can do, we've still got the monitor here, but this time we're actually using, we're not using terminal mode, we're using my hotspot to do the internet connecting or our Wi Fi. Now, if I push, turn that on, on, monitor on, back out, and look. Now, as you scroll, if, if we change to a different repeater, some of them don't have monitor written. Okay, they just don't. But the ones that do, go black. Black means you've, you, you're on the repeater, but you're not connected to it. There's no internet connection, see, monitor. If we go back to see failed to connect to repeater, I'm not even sure why it's pulsing. So someone tell me. But if we go back to where we were, M0 CD. Now look, see that it goes white, and the reason it goes white is because we've got an internet connection. And look, that's our hotspot there. Now if we move away from our hotspot, let's see what it does. So we'll go to the open spot, which we know is not on the internet, okay? We're still monitoring. That's the clever thing, is that the top section is monitoring via the internet, GB7CD, so we can still get traffic from that. But on the B section, if we go back to our hotspot, if our hotspot, which is there, is connected to one Charlie, now you can't hear them both at the same time, but if one Charlie was busy, so if I just go, I don't think I'll get it up here, but I'll try it. Oh, no, I don't think I will. But if one Charlie was busy, you would hear one Charlie come through. And then this would mute. The, the white thing here would mute. Uh, and you, cause you can only hear one at a time. But that's it. That's, what, that's my understanding of, um, of, of, of terminal mode and IP remote monitor, where on the two section, you're by, by internet, you're listening to the traffic. But on the from section, it's whatever you're connected to, whether it's a repeater or your hotspot. So you can basically monitor one and actually talk to the other one. But every time you talk, if you're on your hotspot, you are going to have to, as far as I can see, go to reflector and then use reflector if you're on a repeater. Sorry, if you're on a hotspot. But if you're on a repeater, you might want to use CQ, CQ, CQ. So that's my understanding. I'm learning this, but I, I, th I think it's interesting. I would like to know why I'm getting a pulse there. Yeah, why I'm getting a TX pulse there, because I actually don't know. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, the new thing is 
monitor is is the repeater monitor and the other thing is go menu set you go repeater monitor set and see the way mine says repeater monitor sample that's actually a file a csv file tap it yours will say not in use so what you have to do is you have to get that file with the latest firmware from icom it's a repeater monitor file and you put it into your sd card in the file that's called repeater money and then once you've got that when you go menu set the new menu here dv repeater monitor when you tap it you will have that option to to select repeater monitor which is basically a list and it's quite a new list of repeaters and their ip address and you can actually use that ip address and I, that's why i've been messing around with the uh, dv gateway back to terminal mode look and then it when you're making settings in terminal mode so let's come out a minute dv gateway normal mode when you're doing settings go menu you have to you have to not be connected in terminal then you go menu dv gateway and inter you want to select internal gateway and then internal gateway wireless lan okay and internal gateway settings that ip address is the ip address that i put in for gb7 cd that repeater you saw and i got that just from the repeater file uh, or you can go to their website i bet it's on there as well and that's it terminal ap call sign is my call sign but don't forget, I'm not actually able to TX with these people. Normally in terminal mode, if you're connected properly, you can actually TX. So I'm learning. Let me know what you've learned. Bye for now, 7-3.